Welcome back to the Overcomer Podcast, you guys. I'm your host, Jenica Lopez. Thank you guys so much for being here, listening, watching from where you guys are at. Um, if you guys have not yet watched last week's episode, make sure you guys check that out. Leave a review. I have some pretty exciting guests today, you guys. We got Karen and Eddie. Yeah. Every, yeah. Look, you guys, if you guys go back in my comment sections on the past videos, at the end I always ask, I'm like, who do you guys want to see next? This, this, and that. Cad. How do you guys say it? Cade. Cade. Cad. Me. Cade. <laughs> Cade. You see? Yeah. Anyways, I'm like, okay. I'm like, let's warm up to it. Let's get them here. I'm like, finally we got you guys. You guys. We've been we've partied together like a couple times. Yeah, Karen's you know the reason why I'm drunk half of the time, <laughs> <laughs> and events and stuff. She'll be, Take a shot, bitch, right now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, but I like love me. it. You guys are dope, good vibes. So now I'm gonna make you take a shot, you guys. I'm like, that's right. Yay! So we got a little sippy sip so that we can loosen up and just have fun and have a little chit chat and yeah, just. I me neither. You, so I'm like, you a damn liar. You oh, made me cook you some breakfast this morning. <laughs> talking about some eggs she and some said. potatoes. <laughs> I was there like, remember? I was there like all oh, like, pelando las papas. Okay, like, oh. some breakfast. <laughs> apparently he forgot. No, apparently he didn't eat it because talking about, I don't like, what did you say? No, it's because I try eating scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. For some reason, I can't eat it anymore. Like, like, like I, I start gagging. I'm like, okay, you just pregnant or what? Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm like, he's just trying to say my eggs right. don't taste good. Uh, we got this. As, well, we'll just pass it around as a chaser. I'm going to take right. a picture like this. Right oh, now. shit. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Good vibes. Cheers. Good vibes. Cheers. I'm going like, to wait for the chaser real quick. Mm. I'm throw. Sorry. She's like, yummy. Mm. Ooh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, my favorite. I love Twisted Tea Peach. Mm. All righty, guys. Well, I'm so happy to have you guys here today. How are you guys feeling? Uh, How's everything going? I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Really I'm excited, good. too, but I was telling you earlier, last night we went out to eat. I had, like, hella vomiting, chorro. I had the whole fucking you thing. Know? Last night I was in the bathroom, like, oh, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to make it, but I'm here. Oh. So. <laughs> well, thank you. If you got to go to the bathroom, let me know. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so I kind of wanted to get to know you guys on a deeper level, me personally. And then obviously, like everybody else, you guys are goofy. You guys are loud. You guys are fun. You guys are like the it couple right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big title. I'm like, ah, I'm like, ah, we almost broke up last night. <laughs> <laughs> like, I almost whooped his ass this Literally. morning. No, but behind the goofiness, social media, all that, I want to get you guys, get to know you guys separately as well. Because you guys, you guys are a couple. Like, who's Karen? Who's Eddie? Before they met each other, and then how did they meet each other? Like, where did you guys grow up? Childhood? What siblings? I need all like, I need all that history. You want to go first? Ah, no, uh, uh, I always have to go first. Okay, <laughs> so me, um, I don't even remember where I was born. <laughs> where was I born? <laughs> you know, the valley. There you go. Ooh. But where? Uh, San Fernando, Panorama City. Okay. You know you <laughs> I'm like, as you should. You're yeah, my so man. His birth, your birth certificate I'm in like, his pocket. Yeah, I just, just tied it in the back. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm from the valley. I came to Palmdale, California when I was around five. Mm -hmm. I always say that we we're meant to be together because he was from the valley as well. What part? And Sorry. Uh, kind of okay. Yeah. Okay, so both of us. And we yeah. moved to Palmdale, California at the same time. Like he was five, I was five. So it was like, yeah. It's weird when we think about it. And then our siblings are kind of the same people. Yeah. Too. Really? Yeah. So I have an older sister named Kimberly. Then I have a, well, how did she, how old that bitch be? Hold on. <laughs> she's like 32. No, she's 33. 32, 33. Uh -huh. She's like the mom of the freaking fa of the siblings, and I'm like, bitch, sit, sit your ass down because you is not my mother. But Aww. but I love her, okay. But just giving you a, like a perspective yeah. of how uh -huh. she is. And then I have uh, my older brother. He's he just turned 32, 31. 31? I don't know, 32. <laughs> and he's the party scene. He's the one where I get more of my like crazy vibes. He's mm -hmm. the one I looked up to when I was little. And then I have another sister named Jasmine, and she's 26. Aww. And she's like the other sister. They're both a little. You're bad. the baby? Yeah, I'm the Aww. baby. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I was growing up in the valley too, but um, we moved same age. I was like four or five years old. Okay. My mom didn't really want me to like grow up how she grew up. I uh -huh. guess. That's how she says it. But yeah, we went to Palmdale around when I was four or five, and I have the same sibling. 
My yeah. older sibling is the same age as hers. Uh, like, oh, uh-huh. She was on my ass all the time. And I have uh, another sister who's the same as her brother. Same Party. age. Crazy. Yeah. And that's a sister. Um, I don't, I don't want to say I looked up to her, but I feel like we got along a lot more because we related a lot. Right. And then uh, I was a baby for a long time, too. Damn. But you're the last one? You're the last? No, you're I know more. I have, okay. a, I have an eight-year-old brother or 11-year-old brother. He yeah. said eight, yeah. yeah. Okay, so how did you guys meet then? Like, where did you, like, how did thi- how did you guys, here's Eddie, here's Karen. Middle school. <laughs> yeah, literally middle school. So we live, like, what, five, six minutes away from each other. But the first, first, first time that I had seen this boy, um, well, I already knew of him, but I, like, low-key liked him. So I was, like, <gasps> I see him walking outside, and I was, like, getting mid-ready, remember? And I had, like, a towel like this and, like, a towel in my hair, and I was, like, Fuck yeah, I want to get his attention. I don't care. So I'm like, I'm going to go pretend to go get the mail. I literally told him. Then I told him this now, but I'm like, I'm going to pretend to go get the mail. So here I go with my towel. I don't know why I did that. But here's with my towel and my little hair. And I run outside, and I see him, and I'm like, and then I go run inside, and then like, <laughs> in the middle of Palmdale. Yeah, in the middle of Palmdale, the Tuayato, like, looking. I'm like, I'm like, get the mail. I'm like, hey. <laughs> and then run back inside, and then he's probably like, who the fuck is that bitch? Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my way, like, I would wave at her every time I seen her. Uh-huh. Like, every morning. Oh yeah. my god! But yeah, we met middle school, like yeah. lunch lunchtime. I still remember the day I met you too. Tell uh, me, I want to know. She had a bag of hot Cheetos in her hand. Um, <laughs> of course, <laughs> Latina. I like the fact that he remembers just making my <laughs> pussy uh-huh. throb. Not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she used to have a little like piercing in her lip. She oh, yeah. A little smiley piercing. Like the one that goes right here? Yeah, like no, inside. inside, inside so like when you smile, yeah. it'll like come right here. I don't know. I thought Tell I, us that I is with the hot Cheetos too. Yeah. I remember, but she was cool as fuck. I remember like she was not, she didn't have a shy bone in her body. And I was shy as you hell. Can't, uh. So she made me like warm up to her. Like, I, the same friend group. I feel like that's why I like, I, I was more attracted to him because he was so shy. Really? And I like, it like made me want to like make him feel shy. I don't know. <laughs> like bitch. <laughs> no, literally when we started like already dating, uh-huh. I remember the first time he ate in front of me, mm-hmm. he was like, I was like, why are you not eating your quesadilla? And my mom made us a quesadilla. Aww. And he's just like, oh, like, I'm not hungry. I'm like, you going to eat that shit because my mom made it for you. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, okay, like, can you look away? I'm like, look away? What are you talking about? Aww. And then he bites his quesadilla. Like, he goes, like, he covers Aww. his mouth. I'm like, ah, oh, hell no. <laughs> he was so Dude. shy. So you guys have been together since middle school? Yeah. Uh, or high school. High school, freshman year. Uh, I'm like, nah, we've been together since middle school. Not we've known each other since middle school. Dude, yeah. that's a long ass time. It's because we've always had like mutual mm-hmm. friends. We've always had the same Somehow friend connected. Group. Yeah. Always the same friend group. So it was what? like hard to like not even like not be not together. Not see each other. Yeah. So who who made like the first move? Like when you guys were. She did. <laughs> of course. She did. Um, denied, but I, I, he remembers it differently. I don't know if he was just like trauma. I mean, not traumatized. Um, in love that like he remembers that I in love. <laughs> like I don't get it because I remember he says that I'm the one who asked him to like text me first, right? No, yeah, you started texting me first, and you started sending me like flirtatious texts first. No, I didn't. Yes, I remember it different. Sure. I remember it so different. I remember I was sitting in the living room with my sister Jasmine, and um, he sent me. I had a little Android at the time. Uh-huh. He sent me a little picture, um, a mirror picture. He was like, "Look, I got my ears pierced," and he was like in the picture with his little like it was like one yes, of the shuffling I, stages were going uh, on. So he had a little hat, his little uh, <laughs> crucifix with like a black tee, and he he posted like this. He was like. I remember it was like no, yesterday. I yes, no, I swear no. if I had that picture. You gotta find it. And then I was like, oh, got a little butterflies. I was like, oh no. my god, he's kind of cute. So I show my sister. I'm like, look, look, like, look. He sent me this picture. My sister's like, oh, that's the guy you're talking to. I'm like, yeah. She was like, oh, he's kind of cute. I'm like, oh, should I should do it? And then she's like, yeah. So I was like, what should I say? She was like, just like say like he looks cute. And I was like, okay. So I was like, cutie. It's so oh. funny. That I still have that picture. And uh-huh. Look at it now. We're like. Ugh. I was like, God damn. How do you think, how'd you think I was cute? I was like, shit. What? Yeah. Okay, so that's a lot of time. That's a lot of history. Like, yeah. together. Literally. Has there ever been, did your parents, like, not like one for the other or anything? Or did they ever have a problem? No, nah, my mom never had a problem. I think my mom had a problem with me just dating in general. Mm. She thought I was too young. 
And I think my mom was a little jealous too, <gasps> like me being around another girl. Like, yeah. Yes. I, I was a mama's boy. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. they are like him and his mom are super 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 close, so I can wow. see what he means by yeah. that. But she's always loved me. I'm like I hope yeah. so. She's like <laughs> I think she's she's gonna call. Her, Do you still love me? <laughs> Have you loved me all the time? I feel like she loves Karen more than me now. Uh, like, uh, she would call Karen before she calls me. Damn. <laughs> Good job. I'm like, you like that. Yeah. Okay, so obviously you guys are like, wa- Karen's the wild one. Yeah. Karen's the wild one. Eddie's the quiet one. You know. When you guys met, did you, th- well, no. Now that you guys have been together so long, did you slowly, like, just become more like her? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Say, I was more like homebody. Oh, and I, I always went That's out me. <laughs> yeah, she, she would want to go out, so I was like, all right, let's go. But it's weird because now if we stay home, what are we doing home? Like, let's yeah. go. So, yeah, she did, like, turn me into, like... Yeah, I really now, did. I want to be outside. It's because I feel like, for me, I was very, like... Um, I'm very, very family-oriented. Like, my siblings were all, like, best friends. Mm-hmm. All my cousins, like, all we text, like, all that. the time. Mm-hmm. So, when we lived at home, I'd be like, bro, my brother, I'd be like, I'm hungry. It'd be, like, one in the morning. He's like, fuck it, let's go to Walmart. When Walmart was 24 hours, then we'll get snacks. Or we'll be like, fuck it, let's go to, like, Taco mm-hmm. Bell. Mm-hmm. Or let's go eat here and there. Okay. And... I would be so down to just, like, we'll be out and about, you know? Or, like, we'll randomly be like, let's go to the beach right now? 5 a.m. Let's go. Like, we'll spontaneous shit. So when I got with him, I'd be at home, and I'm like, can we go do something? Can we go to Walmart? Like, can we go to yeah, Target? Can do we do something? something? And he'd be like, I just want to stay home this weekend. And, like, I'm just like. That is so, oh, my God. I'm just like, that's whack. <laughs> so you kind of have to, like, nah, get out of your comfort zone, too. Mm-hmm. To sure. really. Especially when we, when we uh, moved in together. Nah, but there was days, too, where we did stay at the house, and I'm just, like, itching. It's like, <laughs> like I love you, and that's why we're here watching <laughs> movies together. Nah, the whole time she's complaining. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Aww. No, but that's how I feel like I'm um, so, like, unhappy. Yeah, no, I, I still tell him to this day, like, um, I'd be like, hey, babe, like, I know you're going to stay now, but can we go get, like, Taco Bell, and it'll be, like, 1 a.m.? He'd be like, I'm in bed already. And I'd be like, but if my brother was here, he'd be like, fuck it, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Um, yeah. For sure. Her brother, for sure, held, like, standards for me. Was it, like, hard to warm up to them? Or, like, to get, like, their approval, in a sense? Her siblings? Yeah. No. no. I feel like I got along with her siblings super, like, super. That's dope. Cool. Yeah. Because you, you had siblings the same age. So yeah. you kind of yeah. knew what the vibe was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when, did you guys ever, because, again, like, you guys have been together this long. Did you guys ever think it would get here? Like, you guys, nah. you guys <laughs> like, middle school, like, I'll probably, I, for me, if I was in that position, I'm probably not ever going to see this guy again. Like, I'll date him for a couple months, whatever. But you guys, like, damn. Yeah. We, say we that all, the, all time. the time. I'm like, God damn, did you ever think we was going to be here? I'm, I'm like, like hell nah. Like, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. What do you feel like your guys has been, like, the biggest challenge for you? Like, as a couple, like, high, you guys know each other, like, like this, like, back of the hand, like, you know him. What do you guys feel like has been your, like, biggest challenge, like? As, like, in the relationship? Okay, so I feel like, for me, I can say, like, we've done everything together, right? right? So there's a time in our relationship where we started going to trade school together because we used to work for LA County. Yeah. And uh, we had to go to school for that. But it, I feel like the challenge was that because he thought that we were hanging out mm-hmm. together, we were good. I'm like, nah, just because you see me at school doesn't mean, like, we need time to do, like, other stuff yeah. but it's because he's not so um how to explain it like he loves me and he'll like show me that he loves me but he's not very like um now it's different but i'm talking about back then how to explain it like i thought in other words oh we're, we're still together at school and i still see you at school so that's us still hanging out so okay oh like going on dates after like yeah. school and, shit. and i was like just because i see your ugly ass at school does not mean that i don't want to go out and do like oh it's like treating know. it like two separate things yeah i'm like you see your friends at school does that mean yeah. y'all together yeah like that's true yes yeah, so i feel like but it wasn't because like he was like not it's just interest mm-hmm. it's just that he's more of a like I think we broke up, actually, because of that. Oh, yeah, I broke up with him. How many times have <laughs> you guys broken up? Like, let's think. Like a million fucking times. Really? Uh, yeah. Who breaks up with who? It was usually, like, back and forth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, that time, I think she had broken up with me. because she was, <laughs> I'm like, done with your ass. We don't see each other enough. We don't hang out. And I'm like, mm. we're together all the time. <laughs> yeah. But you know what's fucked up? Uh-huh. <laughs> we used to go to that trade school together. 
but my brother ended up joining the, the school so it was me and my brother and him and when we broke up we used to pick him up to go to the school because he was on the way we broke up and then like <laughs> the next day i was like oh so you motherfuckers just my brother picked him up and i was like so what the fuck is me i had to so you're in the stuff. car like this like no i had to take my own car <laughs> like they left me i was just like what the fuck oh my school. god yeah her brother's like one of my close friends yeah He's one of my close friends so no, I that's dope. Up, he was still writing with me instead of writing. Uh, damn. And I was there, like regretting my decisions. I was like, God damn it! Now I gotta ride myself to school. Damn. Yeah. So. Y- like you, you, okay? You guys know what love languages are? Yeah. Do you guys know what who's this? What like what your love languages are for each other? Um, like, how do you receive love, Eddie? I feel like I'm uh, like I'm just. <laughs> 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 I'm like you like, like this. this. <laughs> I'm like this. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like. My love language is, I don't know, touch, I guess. Physical I touch? It's kind of like... Like you need to have her around you? Yeah. Like if we're both wearing toes. chanclas, our fucking pinky toes are touching. <laughs> <laughs> Something has to be like touching over No, yeah. Oh, what about you? Um, I feel like for me, it's more like just time. Quality I love time. like, I just like time. That's I funny. like him. But like she can't be in the living room and she can't be in the room because that's like she has to be with me. Yeah. I it's kinda toxic, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yes and no, because I don't know, when it's quality time, like I need you off your phone. I need you to like, you know, we're yeah, here together. Like this is just us. I get you. But like, no, I think that really is me because like I can literally be like, I'm gonna go to the liquor store really quick. Do you wanna come? He'd be like, Oh, like I'm doing something and I'm like can you, like, come with me? Like, can you just come? Aww. Yeah, that's me. Like, I want him to be, like, chicle right there with me everywhere. Because how I see is, like, if I experience something cool, I'm like, <gasps> but you want if he was here, like, that shit would have been cool. Like, he's always in the back of your head. Yeah, and if I go home to explain it, I'm like, hey, babe, like, this happened. He does not get the real Like, you experience. had to be there. Yeah, so I'm like, you just have to be there. Aww. So I feel like that's my love. Okay, so what? You guys have been together 11? Yeah. How many? 11, 11 years? years. <laughs> how old are you guys? 25. Yeah. Damn. Time, huh? At what point were you like, when are you going to put a ring on it? She after like the first month. <laughs> we were 14. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, I waited 10 years for this. Literally. No. It's beautiful. Congrats Thank again. You. I love it. I feel it. like I always, need, like once we got like mature and older, I was like, ah, oh, okay, I see this future here. I know that this is going to work out. So I wasn't like, when are you going to give me the ring? It was more like, It'll come with time. Yeah. I'm still young. You just knew that this was it for you. Yeah, literally. I just knew. So I just knew if whenever he wanted to do it, it was going to happen. But when it came to the day of like actually happened, like two, three days prior to the proposal, I was like, I think he's going to propose. Like, really? I'm getting, like nervous. Like, ooh, my stomach was. What did he do? Like, it's because everybody started acting weird. So therefore, mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, I'm catching on. But then I was like, oh. <gasps> You really going to do this shit? Like, I really didn't think you was going to do it anytime soon. Like, Because you guys have been together for a minute. It's yeah. like, time, yeah. dude, do, were you ever the type? Because for me, if I was with that person for that, if a person with a person that long mm-hmm. and already living with them, I'm like, do I really want to get married? We're already basically married. Did you ever think like, no, I always made it extra clear. I'm yeah, like, I need to get married. Until this ring is on my finger we is roommates motherfucker damn like <laughs> she's over here <laughs> friends with benefits she's everything but until there's a ring i'm a wife she tells her friends yeah my roommate's here <laughs> <laughs> no yeah what has been your guys's biggest argument though like biggest like you thought like w- dude like this is it like i'm not gonna be with him ever or be with her the quinceanera one <laughs> the quinceanera one yeah i remember i was like Fuck this motherfucking. Oh, uh, like for your quinceanera? Wait, what are you talking about? No, the quinceanera we went to. Which one? The one where I broke it all up. <gasps> Go, Karen. Go ahead, yeah. She's like, <laughs> she's like, this I'm is when like, I was about <laughs> to leave your ass. <laughs> I'm like, once upon a time, <laughs> let's take you guys back to 2000 and I don't know what, 16? 16? Yeah. We were already like not together because mm-hmm. there's like, this story is like so long, but mm-hmm. we're gonna go to the quinceanera day. You know what I'm talking? Why are you acting so confused? No, I really don't know. She's like, you don't remember what? The <laughs> was this when I was a part of somebody else's quinceanera? Yeah, and oh. then we found your ass in the corner. 
Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. This is this this is not 2016. This was when we were 15 years old. This is like 2014. Damn, Karen, you're uh, holding that <laughs> shit in. It's like I'm ready. Like, Wait, like but 14, I feel like that was one of the like biggest arguments. I think so. Yeah. We were right? teenagers. We we're like little ass kids. But. Yeah. Okay, but what happened? Our, what did he do? Our maturity mentalities were just fucked yeah. up at that point. Um, okay, so we go to this quinceanera, and apparently he's part of like the chambelan or whatever, okay. and we were already like. We were already dating. We were already thing, but I think we had already like broke up. Broke up. We said like we're gonna give each other some time, but that didn't stop us from still hanging out, going to each other's houses, doing you know things right. that we wasn't supposed to be doing. But because we were broken up, mm-hmm. but we were still there. So technically, in my eyes, you're still mine. Right. Like, you're still calling me, still telling me you love me. Still, you know. I agree. Mm-hmm. But in public, he want to be like tough but in per in like alone time he won't be like oh babe i'm gonna make out like you know <laughs> literally uh-huh. so this container comes up i knew he was gonna go because he was part of the chambalan uh-huh, right uh-huh. and i got invited so hell yeah i'm gonna go and i remember telling my mom like hey mom can you give me a quinceanera dress and i was like Otro pincha vestido uh-huh. quinceaneras you going to i'm like well shit i got a lot of friends but um my mom didn't let me go I go with my friend and I see him there. We make eye contact. We're like, hey, you know? Uh-huh. And we're both doing our own thing, but like my eyes are still on him because, like I said, you calling me, texting me, you loving me. We're mm-hmm. hanging out on the low, but yet in person, you wanna be acting like mm-hmm. we're not a thing. So I was like, ah, I'm really being this high bitch right now. But um, do you remember that like, Yeah, I do. She's like, do you remember now? Do you, I'm like, she's like, you remember when? I'm like, do you want to say? Do you want me to say? So let me remind you real quick. Right. So we were like, I don't want to say we were like a, okay, we were kind of toxic, I guess you could say. Hell yeah, we were toxic. We're you were like, young. You were young, as young. Uh huh. Yeah, be in a relationship, little ass kids, and um, so we had broke up, and we had broke up for a long time. But uh, again, like Karen said, we were kind of still like messing around with each other, still acting like we were dating, but mm-hmm. we weren't dating. And I don't know at this game say, I think I was trying to make her jealous, or I don't know what I was trying to do, but. I started talking to some girl, and she saw me in the corner with the with the girl talking to the girl, and she was livid. Mm-hmm. I remember that was like the fattest. Yeah. No, it's because they had a photo booth, right? And like a lot of my friends are there, and they were like, "Oh my god, like let's go take pictures of this photo booth." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm down. Like let's go." We go to the photo booth, and like we're waiting in <laughs> line because it's long, and I'm like. Bitch, move. Who the fuck? Is that the curly fuck motherfucker that... Who is that? Hello? And I look at him, and I see him stare at me back. We made eye contact, and I just... I acted like I, I didn't see. I ignored it. I literally just, like, turned around, and I was like, all right, let's take these motherfucking pictures, because I'm ready to fucking go. I remember when I saw her, I was scared. And her picture, she's probably all pissed. Nah, the pictures I still have, I'm like... <laughs> I'm literally, like, all happy and stuff. And then, like, I'm, like, getting heated, and, like, I tell my friend, I'm like... Hey, I think I see Eddie in the corner with some other bitch. <laughs> and she was like, "No way!" And she's like, that. "She's like, let's confirm, bro. Why it's see them kiss? Confirmed. Why I see them kiss?" I was like, <gasps> "You did? Uh, you kissed her?" I'm like, "Put it on the table right now, baby." Wow. Did you kiss her? Yes or no? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> yeah, she did kiss her, dude. I was so mad. I was so oh, mad yeah, because I was like. Crazy. There's no way. Like, I was literally the side right there. Like, he just confirmed, like, oh. And then I remember when it happened, I was like, fuck, why did I do that? And I, I remember leaving immediately, and I started texting. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. I'm stupid. But, like, the night before, you'd, like, be kissing her and, like, cuddling up. <laughs> Bro, I was so, yeah. I was so mad. 14, 15. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Like, I if can't. If you were to do that now, though. <gasps> fuck no, hell no. Not, now would be mm. way different. Nah, oh, literally. Karen, beat your ass. <laughs> no, I oh, would. Egg, slash is tired. Yeah, I think we talked yeah. about this before, too. I was like a little fuckboy when I was like. Nah, but like, even though like back then he was doing stuff like that, I was doing stuff like that, too. So, you know, I can't get mad. But I want to say that that was like the biggest argument we had because that day is like I fell out of love with him. Mm-hmm. Me seeing him with somebody else, like I was like, ill. I don't, who is that? I don't ever want to talk to him anymore. Like, I'm good. I'm ready to go to the next. Like, let me do me. And I remember when we went home, like, I started getting text messages from him. Like, I'm talking about long-ass paragraphs. Yeah, like, like, a whole book. Like, like I remember I opened one of the text messages, and at the bottom it still said, click here to see more. I was like, God damn, a oh, whole-ass yeah. novel. <laughs> yeah, but I was so mad that I was like, I blocked him on everything, and I was telling my friend, because she stopped over, I was like, I don't care, like, 
because my friend knew that we were toxic and we right. would always do things. She's like, girl, you're going you gonna to love him tomorrow. Like, shut your ass up, Brady. And I was like, no, like, I'm done. Like, I don't care. And I did not talk to him. I did not talk uh. to him until, like, I don't know why in the morning I was like, oh, I'm going to unblock him just to see what he has to say. But, like, talk I don't him. care. <laughs> I don't care, like, to be with him. Let's see how much, let's see if he, how much he loves me. Literally. <laughs> so then in the morning I, like, unblocked him and, like, all these messages came through. And I was there, like, reading. I'm talking about reading for, like, two hours just, like, I don't remember. It was like, I'm so sorry. I love Aww. you. And, uh, da, 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 like this and, and then this you and fell that. again. Then, no, it wasn't until I started asking like questions. And then I was like, oh, so who's that girl? He was like, oh, she's just like some girl from middle school, like old friend. And I'm like, yeah, right. But us talking and then him like telling me that he loves me and that he'll do anything for me. I was just like a dumb bitch. And I fell for him again. And I was like, damn. Well, here you are now. Oh, yeah. He got you back like this. I told him, I know how. Huh? <laughs> like she said, this. Like that. She said, you have wrapped around his finger. Like, I tell him, though, to this day, like, if he, I would have not unblocked him, like, we wouldn't be here today. That's how mad I was. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys feel like you guys got out of the toxic stage? Like, you guys matured, obviously. Yeah. Like, where, what were the next steps? Like, okay, I know that this is going to be forever. Like, what, what did you guys have to do in order to, like, kind of fix that toxic, um, basically? I feel mm -hmm. like... I feel like we were toxic because we were around so many people in high school and stuff. I feel like that environment was just, like, toxic. But because we were also, um, what's the word? Immature. Mm -hmm. So I feel like how I thought then, I don't think now. Mm -hmm. So I think us just growing up and realizing that we want to be together just really makes it. Just yeah. matured. I feel like a lot of, well, most high school couples are, are like that. I don't want to set that example or whatever, yeah. but I just feel like that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. Being in a relationship or trying to be in a relationship mm -hmm. in high school. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like I love this man, so now I, not now, but like, you know, forever, uh -huh. I guess, I I don't see myself being stupid like that. Yeah. Like, you, you know better. Uh, no, yeah. My hope so. Shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's like, I'm like, say that again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you guys feel like you're, because I come from, like, my, my parents have got, like, been divorced and all that. Do you guys feel like you, your guys' relationship is kind of breaking, like, I call them generational curses. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I I don't know if your parents, are your parents divorced? Anybody's parents? No. Uh, no? N yes and no. My yeah. real dad died. Okay. So I have oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. What, when did he die, if you don't mind me asking? Three? Wow. Okay. Got, all right. He got killed by his own brother. No. Yeah, I've said this story, so. <laughs> but yeah, he got yeah. killed. My uncle killed him. What? That's crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. And you were three, so you don't remember a lot, though. No, nah, he he. I think he was like on the run from the police. Okay. He explains it. So he fled down to Mexico. That's where he's from, Jalisco. And I guess he got into it with his brother. I don't Damn. Know, like backstory. Right. But I guess my uncle ended up shooting him and killed him Ooh. right in front of uh, their mom. Mm. So yeah, it's it's crazy. That's traumatizing yeah. my heart. <laughs> okay. Well, like, as I was saying, like, I come from a family like that. That's gone divorces, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, when I, I want to be able to be married once and that's it. Is that, like, the same idea for you guys? Like, you yeah. guys want that healthy marriage? Like, oh, yeah, for sure. This is the example that your parents may have set before you guys. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I do only want to get married once. I don't want no peach dress, no... What is that egg color plant? I want a white dress and a white dress only, and that's Period. it. Like, I don't want to have go. to go through it again. No, yeah. Has he been your only boyfriend? Yeah, mm, no. I was a whore when I was like. <laughs> I was a whore. <laughs> <laughs> like, at what point? I'm like, at nine years old. No, I'm just no. kidding. No, he's not my first boyfriend, but he's my first, like, actual boyfriend that, like, I brought home and, like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, serious, serious. Yeah. yeah. Love that. And I'm like, I ain't his first girlfriend either. No, like, so you really? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you guys have learned a lot together. What piece of advice can you give to couples, high school sweethearts, you know, that are listening, that, you know, maybe struggling, or people that, you know, your age, they've been together since high school, like, they're having a hard time. What is, like, a good advice that you guys can give? In my honest opinion, I don't feel like a high school, if you're in high school, you shouldn't get into a serious relationship until you're mature, mm. until you're an adult. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah, that's true. You just heard the story. You just heard. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. I just feel like if you're young and you're going through stuff, like you're just young, bro. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, unless it's like something super toxic, then okay, leave. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying like, if you really love somebody, I feel like if they're going to be for you, they're going to be for you. Mm -hmm. And you can't force nobody or you can't force like the universe to keep you guys together. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. 
Don't yeah. force it, and if it's meant to be, it'll happen. I, that's how I feel like. Perfect example here, y'all. It just <laughs> happened. They, you know, a little toxic here and there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to go on a quick break, and then we're going to come back and talk about social media and all that good stuff. Cool. Okay. So we'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back, you guys. We got a little... I'm like, all right, let's, fill. let's chug it. Mm, um, <laughs> Hell no. Let's, I'm not let's it. just do a little. <laughs> I'm like, should we shotgun? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it splashes everywhere. Mm. All right. Uh, so let's get into this social media thing. Whose idea was it? Where did it come from? Who, you know, all that. Who started it? Both of ours. Yeah. yeah. It's something we've always talked about in high school. Yeah. Yeah. I literally Junior won, year. like, jokingly, like, I'm like, fucking bitches. I'm sure everybody <laughs> voted for me because they were making fun of me. But look at me now. <laughs> <That's kidding. laughs> I won, like, most likely to become a YouTube star. And I'm like, I'm sure y'all voted for me because y'all was making fun of my videos. Because when I was in high school, I supposedly was, like, making, like, little. What would they say? They would be like, oh, my God, your video is funny. I loved your video. But I would tell you, I'm like, bro, they look, he, like, voted for me, like, playing around and shit. Like, mm. you know, I'm like, look at me now, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, in high school, I, I uh, started to make like little YouTube videos like what I do, like how to become a mermaid. <laughs> like, bitch, the fucking <laughs> the videos are just like That's stupid. A yeah. And then it was like, uh, what else? Like, oh, like a New Year's look. I don't know. Uh, okay. I was just like. So it was posting. just you? Just me. Okay. And there were like voiceovers. Like, uh, they're still up because. The cringe. The, yeah, the account. You know what? Let me not even say because I know y'all were going to look go and look for this. But <laughs> yeah, those videos are still up. So I would do videos and then he also would do videos. But mm -hmm. like I would do videos in middle school. Mm -hmm. I do like little skating videos or like shuffling videos. I was a little shuffler. <clears throat> you but had yeah. a rave? You're a raver? No, no, yeah. I'm not a raver. He was I like those uh, uh, getting little shuffle sessions in the uh, parking lot of the school. Vibe. Yeah. He thought he was a shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he had his little was, gauges <laughs> with his little obey yeah. shirt. I had gauges, so. everything. Like, Dude. I was one of those swag kids. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> yeah. My sister and my brother were like that. Oh, really? Yeah. My sister was a huge raver, and she loved, oh, like, fucking wow. everything. But but you guys were medical assistants, too, right? Or something? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right after high school. What? So in high school, we talked about, like, as soon as we graduate, let's buy a camera, laptop, and let's get this YouTube thing going. And it's, that's exactly what we did. As soon as we got our part-time jobs, um, we used that money to get a camera and a laptop. And then we started filming. We went to school together. I was working at Jack in the Box. <clears throat> and the videos weren't, like, they wouldn't do too great. So it wasn't really, like, motivating. We were like, ah, our first 100 views. <laughs> no, that's good, though. <laughs> no, yeah. So, but we never stopped. But there were there were t there was times where we would take little breaks, like six months breaks. and Because it wasn't, like... Mm -hmm. It, it was fun. I think we were doing it at the time. Like, it wasn't like we had like a goal. Like obviously we wanted to be where we are now, but it was more like, oh, babe, like let's do this video. Like it should be fun. Like because we knew we weren't getting paid. We knew we weren't going to get the views, but we still wanted to like yeah. do it for you. Yeah, uh -huh. it's just something we like doing. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. when the pandemic hit, that's when TikTok started jumping. Mm -hmm. So we started making just goofy little TikToks, and yeah. they started doing really well. So then it just picked up from there. We just yeah. never stopped. Yeah. yeah. That's dope, though. Mm -hmm. You get to work with your boyfriend. Your, oh, fiance, excuse uh. me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. get to work together every day. But has that ever, like, affected you guys, though? Like, because how do you guys do that work-relationship balance? Mm. So sometimes we do fight. Like, I'm not going to lie. Mm. Like, sometimes I have a vision of how I want to do certain, like, videos or certain things. And then he's like, well, what if you do it like this? And I have I'm a like, different vision. No, like... I think it'll be better like this. And he's like, nah, fuck that. It'll be better like that. I'm <laughs> whoa, like, nah, fuck on. you. Not just <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, we do uh, We do have like our little ups and downs where like we don't really like meet Me either way. Yeah. But I feel like it's, we've like been doing this for so long that now we just know like, I'd be like, all right, I'll give your shit a shot. It sucks, you're whack, and then I'll do mine. Like, mm -hmm. you know? Do you but guys have like on, on uh, like work days and no work days or do you guys just like flow however mm -hmm. it goes? Um, Right now we're just, we're working every day. Yeah. yeah. We we'll try to work every day. Try to do it every day if we can. But yeah. there's days where we're like, oh, we're going to go do this and that. And like, that's it. Like, I think we have a little bit more time now because I have a, uh, we have an editor now who edits okay. our videos. Mm -hmm. Back then it was uh, a little harder because I'd stay up all night editing a video. I'd be tired the next day and yeah. I'd have to make another video. Or even when he worked, he would, he would edit them at urgent care. Um, oh, yeah. In between patients. Yeah. 
Damn. I'd edit the videos right there at the check-in. Dude, and all that hard work got you here. Yeah. It's cool. Where you guys Our are. supporters are a blessing, for real. No, supporters the best people in the world. Has anyone ever slid in the DMs, though? Like, oh, you, like people getting out of pocket? Either or, yes. Hell yeah. I just had, we went to, okay, well, to answer your question, yes. Yeah. People get out of pocket in our DMs. Um, he gets, like, people sending him, like, ass videos and stuff on no. Snapchat. And, yeah. yeah, and I just, you know, it comes with what we do. But people get out of hand in person, too. No way. Yeah. <laughs> we went to Baja Fest this uh-huh, year. Uh-huh. And, um. I never care when people want to take pictures of him. If girls want to take pictures with him by himself like or you're vice versa, about I'm it. like, do your thing, baby. You shining bright as fuck from over here. Like, I uh-huh. love you. But this one time, this year, we went to Baja Fest, and this girl came up to Eddie, and he was, she was like, oh, my God. Like, she ran up to him and hugged him to the side. She's like, oh, my God. Like, I love you. Let me take a picture with you, blah, blah, blah. And I heard it. You know, I heard it from the back, but I wasn't tripping. I was just like, oh, yeah, like, let him do his thing. But then I turned around, <laughs> and she was like, Oh no! She's to like, you? yeah. She's like, oh, he's my man. She's, Shut up! She's like, yeah, when she said that, I was her, like, like, hugging him like this. He's and like, he's like, that was the worst thing you could have said. Yeah, I she's froze like, up. I was like, oh my god, no, she did not. Uh-huh. And her her man was there too. No. Yeah, so I, I think she was just drunk. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. I'm like, dang, no excuse, bitch. What's up? Yeah. I was drunk too. Nice no, kidding. <laughs> but uh, she hugged him like this, and she's like, oh. This is my man. And she's I was like, like, he's bomb as fuck. This is my man. Blah, blah, blah. And I, at first, like, I, I got it. Like, she's lit. And I was like, yeah, ha, 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 ha. But she kept saying it and saying it. So then I was like, nah, bitch, I don't play that shit. Like, don't fucking say that shit. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, you want to get mad now? And I was like, oh. Padre nuestro que estás en No, like, I was like, <laughs> please, like. Because, dude, I love all our supporters. I love everybody. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to, like, act out on anybody because, of course, she's, like, even though right. she's saying some out-of-pocket shit, she's still, like... It's like having some type of respect, though. Yeah, yeah I get, <clears throat> like, that literally what it comes down to. But I was just like, nah, bitch, I don't play that shit. And she's like, oh, you want to get mad now? I'm like, well, what the fuck? Listen to what you're saying. Like, I don't go up to your fucking... I don't go up to your man and say that shit. Like, yeah. And then what pissed me off more was because, like... It didn't piss me off what he did, but it was just like she was still hugging him. So like I was in front of both of them, still getting like getting mad, and then like Eddie's like all awkward. Like uh, I was, I was like, froze up. I didn't know what to do. I was like, um, <laughs> Eddie's can't. like, I know he, she's gonna beat your ass right no. now. Literally, <laughs> I just. But, you know, I composed myself, and then I was just like... No, you handled that really good. I did, because yeah. I just did it... Because I didn't... Well, the last thing I wanted was for the, the girl to be like, oh, I'm a supporter, and, like, this is how you treat me, even though, you're, even though you're the one saying out-of-pocket shit, but, like... For them to make a whole story on TikTok. Nah, it's okay. I'm a cloud chaser. P- post it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Like, but, I'm like, post it. Give me some views, bitch. Like, tell your story. I'll tell mine. <laughs> nah, but, yeah, so I feel like I handled it really good, because I was just like... Oh, like, haha. But, you know, I was bothered, but mm-hmm. I wasn't going to act out. Because I feel like Eddie would have been like, calm down, bitch. Yeah. And I was like, whatever. I, I feel like that just comes with what we do, too. Yeah, you know? sure. There's always going to be people out there who don't have that respect, and they're going to be like that. Has, <clears throat> do you guys feel like it's affected you, though, like, in a relationship and then your mental health, too? Because you have to have, like, that certain boundary. And, like, within yourself as a couple, like, all right, we know, like, our limits when it comes to... The supporters, uh, and then as people, too, like, what if, like, there's some... So we know now, like, it, when mm-hmm. some guy, like, texts me, or I'm um, not texting me, my fault, well, like, uh, DMs me and stuff, I'll be like, oh, look, babe, like, this guy, like, hit me up. Or when the sugar daddies be coming through, I'm like, babe, stay <laughs> yes right now. Like, <laughs> I won't there? get us a fucking fat-ass house, like, please. Hell yeah. And then he'll be like, go, do it, do it. And then I'll be like, Ugh. No, because then, like, you know, yeah. I would, you Bro, know. Bro, it was crazy because when she broke her leg, she broke her leg one time. Uh-huh. And she was getting hella DMs. I guess people have a fetish for casts. What? Yeah, like arm cast, I've leg cast. I've never heard of that. So yeah. she was getting DMs of, like, $500 offers, $1,000 offers yeah. for just pictures of her leg with her painted, like, a specific color. Yeah. Her, na- her nails painted a specific yeah. color. So I'd be like, do that shit. Just send it. Just send it. Uh-huh. I'll take it for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> But no, but I feel like because we like play around with like how like when we get DMs and stuff, like it doesn't affect us. Yeah. But now we have a cold word, so like I always tell him like if we go, when we go out and <laughs> shit is going less or somebody's saying some out of pocket stuff, <clears throat> like the word is pineapple. Mm. Pineapple is a good word. I'm allergic to it, so if you mean that. You're no. allergic. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. I feel bad for you. I do. Pineapple's. I, <laughs> I love 
I, know. <laughs> I, I, I get sad. I mean, I still eat it like on pizza when it's cooked. It doesn't affect me. I don't know why, but that's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I eat weird. it, even a juice. Like we were having a, cl- a club hosting one time. Uh-huh. I'll tell you a quick story. We were having a club hosting in Arizona, and like you know, I'm wild. So people were giving me drinks, and like I started taking them, not realizing that. The drink. the drink was a pineapple drink. And then I was like, God damn, like, I'm feeling lightheaded and like my tongue and face is tingling. And I wow. was just like, oh, you're just lit. I go upstairs. I was like projectile vomiting. Like I just couldn't take it. And like, it turns out it was pineapple juice. So then I figured that out. And I was in the bathroom for like cool, like 20 minutes, just like making myself throw a lot up. And then later on, I went downstairs and just acted like nothing happened. Dude. Yeah. But you can eat it when it's cooked. Yeah. That's weird, right? On pizza? Yeah. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Hell no. That's <gasps> what? nasty. That's like the best pizza. Yeah. Okay. For right, Thanksgiving. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> for Thanksgiving, you don't like ham? Yeah, but I, like. You make it with like I cherry. cut around it. Uh, like, I'm not cutting the size what about of like pineapple on top of it. Al pastor. No. That's. Babe, let's get the fuck out of here. I love it. Okay, so obviously you guys work every day. Right? You guys got to create content or whatever. Have you guys ever made a video mad at each other, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like, you guys have to pretend, like... <laughs> Hell, yeah. Like, you t- it's usually with, like, a YouTube video. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll get into, like, a little argument because of the YouTube video. Or uh, any argument, and then... Or uh, about anything, like, about the dishes or some shit. So, we'll just sit down in front of the camera, like, <laughs> mad at each other. Like, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, And then I'll st- we'll stop halfway and be like, get your hand out of my head. like <laughs> you guys get over it after yeah. yeah yeah we usually get over our arguments within yeah. like that Sometimes, same hour so i love that we can <clears> like because we're so like we know our relationship so good that our arguments don't really last that long but sometimes i want like here's the toxic me coming out right. sometimes i want them to like last a little longer so like he can want me a little more right. you know? <laughs> <laughs> like here's the toxic in me. i know because like we're really good with saying sorry. So if I know I fucked up, I'll be like, all right, like, I'm That's sorry. Right. And he'll be the same way. But sometimes I'm like, I don't want to say sorry yet because I want it to continue a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Who is usually the first to say sorry, though? Mm, I feel like it's... Kind of both of us. Like I said, like... Whenever it is. Kind of in the middle, yeah. Whenever yeah. Like, if I know I'm in the wrong, like, I'll say sorry. And then he says sorry, too. Mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I'm funny like, how he says sorry. He'll be like, all like sad face. His shoulders are all down. He's like, babe. Yo, chill. <laughs> <laughs> the baby talk comes tell, out. Tell him. He's like, I already picture <laughs> it in my head. <laughs> like, if I'm in the room, like, just like, oh, I'm mad as hell. He'll come, like, through the door it's and like, he'll be like, babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> With the baby boy. And I'm like, oh. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Nah, but I'd be the same way. Wow. When you guys started, what was the main goal for you guys, and what's the goal now? When I had started, my main goal was to quit the fucking job I had. Oh, I hate working for other people. I think that was our main goal, yeah. I hated yeah. that. I hated working the 95. Like, just There's not for me. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, not for a lot of people. It's not mm-hmm. for me. Like, when I would be at work, I'm like... Am I really going to do this until I retire? I will literally be at work searching up how soon can I retire. Literally. Because I just, I cannot. It's not for me. She's like, it says like 80, 70. (laughs) I'm like, God damn. I'm like, can I use somebody else's fucking social security? Somebody who's already like, I would like literally figure out. Looking it up. Looking up like, how can I retire sooner? Because it's just not for me. Yeah. I cannot live that lifestyle. I hated like. Did you have a bad experience though with people? Like, because it was, you Basically, customer service, too. Like, you have to have a good customer service. Um, I feel like I got along with it. I, I feel like I'm a social butterfly, so yeah. I I did. I enjoyed the customer service part. Like, you know, like, the older people would come. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, hey, what's that, man? Like, like, you know, I'd always be, I used to, like, love that part. It's just the working part. Like, I hated people told me what to do. I hated, like, mm-hmm. having to, like, do some stuff. Same. Like, Same. I just, I hated I'm like, it. I got to have control of, like, what I do. I just couldn't. I just not for yeah. me. Yeah. So that. I hated working. Was it the same for you? You guys just wanted to quit. <clears throat> yeah, that was our main goal. Like the main goal is to make enough income to do support. it full time. Yeah. yeah. Support each other. And I would say the job that I had before we quit here, the medical assistant job um, for the county, when I worked in internal medicine, I would say like that was a good job. Had good benefits, mm-hmm. good hours mm-hmm. and stuff. Before that job though, a bitch was working at a factory. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I just couldn't. I couldn't handle that. I would get loud with the fucking managers. I would just, I just hated it. Like, I felt like there was so much favoritism, so much, like, people acting like we in high school. I'm like, bitch, yeah. almost 40, acting like a little bitch. Like, I just, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I right. could not do it. So yeah. what's the goal now? Um, Just to keep growing. We want to open a few businesses in the future, too. I want to open a little Ooh, restaurant, God. like Calaveras and Mamas Por Dios. I'm coming for your yeah. neck. What? That honestly, you got you would fucking kill that shit. I feel like I would. I'm so excited. I want to do that. Uh, what would you give? Like, what would like? What's the okay? Vibe? Can I give you my yes, plan? Okay, yes. I I'd be thinking about this in my. Let dreams. me put my let me uh, make my reservation right now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so like, if I open up a restaurant, I want the restaurant to have a uh like obviously like a DJ and like everything that you would see like a mama por dios or calaveras. Right. But in the middle of the restaurant, I wanted to have a cage. All right, so motherfuckers can sign up to like box and stuff. A cage like, is crazy. Yeah, I want them to like <laughs> box. I want there to be like fucking like um, what is the word? Uh, like it's like MMA fighting or what? Like, yeah, MMA fighting. MMA fighting. I want like what? ratchet. I want to have like ratchet Tuesdays where ratchet bitches who think that like they're bad as fuck yeah. can come and like sign up a waiver and be like, all right, bitch, let's go, let's go, you know, and like. Imagine eating and just watching motherfuckers Dude, fight. That would be yeah. crazy. I want to have like that and like I just want to like I just have so many plans for. Uh, Dude, whole, okay, yeah. what kind of food? Like, what are we thinking? Uh, my mom's food. My mom actually cooks really good. Like, I feel like everybody says that about their mom, but nah. Mm-mm. Her mom I've tried other food. mom's yeah. foods. No, my mom's foods is good. She's Mexican. Other than yours, Eddie's mom does some really good Thanksgiving food. I'll <laughs> say that. Yeah, she's Mexican, Ooh. and my mom has always wanted to open a restaurant too. She actually kind of did, huh, babe? In the house, yeah. In my house, That's bro. Fire. But That's then the fire. city came, bitch ass city. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are always the best, though. Yeah. Like, the backyard ones. Like, there's one on on uh, TikTok where it's like these four kids in college trying to pay off their thing, and they make burgers and shit. But that looks so. That was like my it. mom. She had a whole like snack bar at the house. Like she broke the window and made like a ventana and like put a snack mm-hmm. bar sign and like everybody in the community to come eat. Someone there. had a snitch. No, they did. It was Someone a school. Someone snitched. It was because my mom's backyard is like the school. So the school would be like, why is everybody coming this way, way after school? But it was because my mom would sell like nachos, hot dogs, but yeah. funnel cake, Bitches. ice cream. It's because my, like, my mom has fat right here. So I feel like if you have, if your mom has fat right here, she knows how to cook. That's all that I guy. <laughs> but like, That's all I got to say. If your mom has fat right here, she knows how to cook. <laughs> That's facts, though. That's facts. Get it! <laughs> Bro, it's the truth. It's so random <laughs> as shit, bro. I never thought. Um, now I gotta look at everybody's mom. Like she got a little like, fat. If you're too skinny right there, your food ain't good. <laughs> like, if your mom got a little fat right here, a little double chin, she definitely knows how to cook, bro. That's funny. You're funny, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, if I were to open a restaurant, it would definitely be my mom's food. Dude. Yeah. Okay, well, can I have a reservation for the next, like, yeah. like two years? I'm like, a reservation on my birthday to eat there. <laughs> I'll eat. I'll watch. <laughs> I, can you be the one fighting, though? Oh, I would love to, bro. I would love to be the one fighting. That'd be crazy. Dude, I heard your the plain one, the Vegas oh. fight. I would love to see that on, like, <laughs> oh, TV. Man. If I th- have you guys seen like the TikToks of people recording in the planes? Yeah. yeah. I wish someone recorded you guys. <laughs> I wish to. I tell all my friends, like, literally. All my friends. I was just literally telling Blessed and Fabio yesterday, huh, babe? Yeah. I was like, look, even if I'm getting my ass beat, do me the favor. If you really oh love me. Oh, my God. Now I'm telling you this, too. Gosh. If you if you really love me and if I'm getting my ass beat, please grab your phone first. Put it on record. Make sure it's on 40, 60K. <laughs> and you uh-huh, put that quality. shit somewhere. And then you let it record me fight or you go help me fight. But you got to make sure the camera's up first. You can beat the bitch's ass. I feel like I can. But like also, I feel like I can get my ass beat too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you guys said that story, I was like, oh, Karen's a down-ass bitch. Like, she really... Just you ever get scared? Like, it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. But I feel like I know him so well that I... All he has to tell me is like, bro, you know that movie Unleashed? Mm-hmm. Have you watched that movie? Yeah. The guy that wears a little leash uh-huh. thing. You know how they like take it off and he just goes crazy? I feel like it's kind of like that. If Eddie tells me like, relax. You're like, like a chihuahua. Yeah, I feel like Facts. if he I say the same me, thing. Like, relax. I'm like, all right. My leash is still on. <laughs> Do nothing. <laughs> she has a shock collar. Like, yeah. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, uh, I, I'm not mean. Though. I'm not part of my problematic at all. I just feel like. No, hell no. If I'm doing something, it's because I have a reason for it. No, yeah. She finds any reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, no. There's a reason I shouldn't have been in, like, I've 
it's been brought to you yeah, yeah. it's because someone yeah right how do you guys take care of your guys <laughs> me buzzed already mood <laughs> mood how do you guys take care of yourselves separately since you guys are always together all the time separately like you know like how come my toenails are yeah, I know. <laughs> like do you guys ever take like respectfully take a break yeah. from each yeah. other and yeah. all that? definitely i'll go to the gym by myself go get a haircut go to the store by myself mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. yeah we take little breaks I just from each other thing, like i'll get my nails done my toes um i'll get my hair something with it i don't know but yeah we do we do take our little times okay. too mm-hmm. i'll go hang out with my friends she'll go hang out That's with her so. friends yeah and sometimes like around the house like even though i said like i like to be close there's times where like I'm like, oh shit, where's Eddie? And he'll be like in the living room, like mm-hmm. watching a movie or doing his own thing, and I'll be mm-hmm. in my room doing whatever the hell I'm doing. But yeah, no, we we definitely so take our own time. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Cause I feel like, I don't know, I'm I, I don't have a boyfriend, so obviously like I'm, I think about it, I'm like I don't know if I could do that because I'm just so like have like a couples page or whatever because I I like to have my space yeah. and like to have my <coughs> own time and like do my own shit and all that stuff. So I was like, how do you guys like, you know, do it? Like keep that boundary between yourselves and then still having to take care of, like it's taking care of yourself, your relationship, and then the social media. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you guys have a good balance, right? Yeah. I feel I feel like, um, I feel like we do have a good balance because like how you said like there's three categories, but uh-huh. I feel like we just like combine it. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's just Yeah, we, and it we made it work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys feel like your trust has been affected? Like, within each other. Like, it could be good or bad. Like, because of social media, by comments or anything like that? With no, each other? I, honestly, I feel like social media brought us a lot closer mm-hmm. when we started it. Like, we... I'm not saying we weren't close before, but I feel like it made our relationship, like, 20 times stronger. Mm-hmm. To be honest. I, yeah, I feel like it really did. Um, I don't really feel like... There hasn't been anything on social media that's affected us together, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think mm-hmm. so. Yeah. Not negative, not, not in a negative like way. Like, we get bad comments, and we just, like, kind of laugh at them or cry later. Has anyone like, ever or said cry later. Mean <laughs> has anyone ever said mean things to you, though? <laughs> like, has it affected you, like, on the real? No, yeah. It ha- it ha- like, at first, when I started, I feel like... Um, I, I had, like, insecurities. Every, everybody had of insecurities, course. right? I had of insecurities. Course. And then I'll see a comment. I'm like, haha, like, that was funny. Like, we'll, like, joke about it. But then, like, people started, like, noticing the insecurities I didn't have. And I'm like, wait. And it created an I'm insecurity. Not, not, I have a double, I do have a double chin. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know? Oh my God. So it would, like, make me, like, feel, like, some type of way. But I feel like he, he helps me with that. You help me with that because yeah, like sure. sometimes I'll like see a comment on like, damn, like I really look like a fucking football player in this shit or like a fucking <laughs> Thor, <laughs> like a, like a torta. I'm like, damn, I look <laughs> like a torta right here. But then I'll be like, look, babe. And then he will be like, no, I like they tripping like this and that. And I'm like, all right, I guess like I look like a cute torta then because, yeah. you know, my man is always there to like. He likes my torta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just always love these long guys. Huh? <laughs> 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 I love that. All right. We're going to go on a quick break again and then we're going to come back and talk about your goals and what's next for what is it ken kate Kate. Kate. (laughs) (laughs) i can't anyways we'll be back you guys all right you guys welcome back let's talk about your goals and what's next for you guys we already heard about the restaurant like (laughs) i'm ready for that i'm signed up (laughs) the email (laughs) sign up i'm there do you guys have any other goals for yourself separately and as a couple Mm -hmm. i want to start a clothing brand yeah, I've always I've always said this since I was a teenager. I want a clothing brand, but I don't want a clothing brand with like my name on it. Mm. You know what I mean? Not like merch. Not like merch. No, I want like a worldwide clothing brand, like with actual like jackets, That's flannels, dope. pants, shirts, hats, everything. And I'm gonna start that soon. I've actually been talking to a lot of people about that. Dope. So, yeah, hopefully within the next year. For guys or girls or both? Both. That's dope. Yeah, both. Guys first though, I think. Yeah. I know a little guys f- more, not more oh, guy clothing sure. more, yeah. Mm-hmm. But then in the future, I do want to do girl clothing That's too. Dope. Mm-hmm. I'm like me, it's just the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, I'm, but for real, that I'm gonna have to get like hella permits for that. No, no, Open for real. It. I've always thought about opening like a smoothie or a coffee shop. <gasps> that shit is like, I'm like mm, maybe never mind. <laughs> Wait, hold on, how much is it? No, it. I don't. Well, to start off in general, like I wanted coffee. Like I like coffee. I'm a coffee girl. So the machines are like thousands like of dollars. And then the permits, obviously, <laughs> LA ain't cheap. The rent yeah, goes yeah. up everywhere. Not even just like mm-hmm. apartments. It's fucking like 
a little yeah. space. Yeah. And it's just, you know, I'm just like, it's fine. And then me too. Like I, when I've looked into it, just to get a, a alcohol permit, god damn, I think I might have to start and the you restaurant have to. in someone's backyard. Oh no, and you have to. OnlyFans. Mm. Nah, Would you ever let her? On OnlyFans? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think so. I think he will, but like, I don't feel like I would want to. Really? Mm-hmm. But like, okay. But like, what kind of content are we talking yeah, about? Okay, like, so she obvi- said two girls in one cup. <laughs> 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 She's like, like say like ba- bikini shots oh yeah yeah like yeah. it doesn't have to be like a white t-shirt her nipples see through yeah i wouldn't okay. mind it if it's nothing like too extreme like collabing with other people and shit like She's yeah like, probably not babe can i call drake <laughs> <laughs> uh, that should be funny but um we've talked about it like jokingly and stuff but me realistically me i feel like I don't even like to show my body like that, so I would be like, ah, oh, too insecure for it. Yeah. I think you could do it. I think so too. If you don't, I want tell him to do it. I'm like, Go not ahead, us babe. forcing you to I'm do like, it. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, do it now. I tell him to do it. I'm like, baby, go ahead and whip that dick out, bro. No, yeah, no. I'm like, get us that Obviously, house. No, people are nosy as fuck. Like, people would want to see that shit. No, that's I just crazy. That would be no, but that's a little, that's a little weird. I've been like, tempted. I would feel uncomfortable. Like, you know, who'd be your number one subscriber? You. Not nah, that girl from Baja Fest. No, <laughs> <laughs> my biggest fear is like doing something like that, and then someone screenshots and sends it to my mom or my sister. Or but something. they, oh well, yeah. You know what I mean? They're not supposed to, from what I know, because I thought about doing it. I really thought about doing it, and I don't know. I just like that's my last resort. Like if I don't have any other way to make money and shit, like that's my last I last feel it, I feel it. resort. Because this isn't like. I don't know. I don't like promoting it. Mm-hmm. And then I just feel like the name OnlyFans is like tainted. Mm-hmm. People get like, oh, she's just posting. So, like exactly. But it's everything. like the same shit that I would fucking post on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are just mad because it's on OnlyFans. And then I'm like, I want to get a boyfriend. What if he doesn't like it? You know, it's just like whatever. But I get the, I get it. I, yeah. I mean, you should. You mean, There's you some people. You got the are. ass. All you right. got the body. Let me let me sign up today then. I know. <laughs> me and her people? sign up together. <laughs> Bro, we met people who are like millionaires off just Ooh. doing OnlyFans. And it's crazy. No. We've actually gotten like, um, what is it? Excuse me. I got a little drink coming up. We've gotten like people who like are super into it, and they're like, "Oh, like we think you guys a good deal. Like you guys should start yeah. it." Yeah. Now, my sounds tempting, but there's been managers that yeah. come to me they're like, "If you ever thought about it, I can manage it or whatever." And I'm like, "Stop, because you're feeding <laughs> into what's <laughs> something." Um, okay. Random question, not random. No pressure, but do you guys want kids or no? Hell yeah, definitely. What are we thinking? How many? Four. Two. That's an argument that's like never. Gets. We talk about that every day. <laughs> Let me day. take a sip. Uh, <laughs> four to two is a, that's a big difference. My sister it is has a big four. Difference. Bitch, it's a lot. It's okay. No. Okay. What do you want? Boys, girls? How many? I want. I want all of it. Wait. How many though? How many girls, boys? Oh well, I have a rule. Okay. okay. So he only wants two, right? But it's not gonna happen. He wants to, so whatever comes, comes. So <laughs> it's going to make you have some. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like what are you going to do? Strap me I'm down? Like, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, yeah. shit. Karen, would you be the type to go get, like, his cum out of the condom or shit? Shit. Get it from your fucking, <laughs> put it inside, turkey I'm like, baste yourself? <laughs> turkey baste? <laughs> I'm like Thanksgiving's coming up, motherfuckers. No, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I know I've never done that. But when the uh, when I have the two kids already, and I'm like, where's the third and fourth? I might be crazy to do it. What? Nah, hell no. He looks at her. I'm like, like come here, work. bring that dick here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. but gr- okay, girls, boys, how many? What do you guys? What do you? Well, if it, it was my oh, perfect life, I would want two and two, two boys, two girls. But mm-hmm. I, I even tell him like. I see myself with being an all girl mom and see myself <coughs> being an all boy mom. So like, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I want four. One boy, one girl is is you know <laughs> ideal for me. But <laughs> on the two, I okay. um, manifesting twins. Please, Lord, if you're hearing me. Can you have twins? Is it genetic? Uh, yeah, on my dad's side. What? Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, my grandma lost them, but um, she had a miscarriage. But I know. I'm like, hey, you can it can have happen them, to you. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. You're going to have the two. If it's two boys, you got to go again. Hell nah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, get the girls. Yeah. You heard it here? 
Nah. And We're if gonna it's stay still with two a boys. boy after that, you gotta keep well, going. This is my my rule. <laughs> I tell him, I'm like, look, I I know you want to, but and I'll respect it for a little bit because you know it's all talk right now until I actually have the kids in front of me. I'm like, God no, damn, yeah. I'm done, you know, because they're a lot of work. But mm-hmm. I tell him like, if we have two, but if we mess around and have three on accident, we have to have four. I'm not having odd numbers. Mm-mm. You're big on that, like odd evens. Excuse me, I keep burping. That's right. Yes, because um, I think about like going to Six Flags and amusement parks. Like everybody needs to have a partner. You're I'm not gonna right. take the neighbor's kids just to so our part. I'm not. You gonna know what? She's really <laughs> thinking about. No, this. yeah, we talk about this a lot. I'm not gonna take the neighbor's kid just because we don't have a partner. Like I'm gonna take my kids too. You know, dude. Like I would love to take real. the neighbor's kid, but the neighbor's kid better have a fucking partner because <laughs> I think about what? like everybody being able to sit down and mm-hmm. like if you go to a restaurant. Like the Mexican ones, they'd be like, they have a special on the window, and it's like a family of four, like yeah. four cheeseburgers, mm-hmm. four hamburgers, like that. It's a perfect yeah. amount. Mm-hmm. She gives me these examples all the time. <laughs> like you know all the I'm time. gonna agree. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. But I really hope that I have a girl because I want to have a quinceanera. Like, I want to do that. Did you have a quinceanera? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. It was fun. Yeah, I love that. I, I did too. It was cool. I think it's fun. You had two quinceaneras actually. Oh, I just had one. Um, you did it? Oh, yes. Like a couple months <laughs> <Yeah>. ago. <laughs> was it a black it. dress? No, it was, or was it red or something? Pink, pink. Pink? Like a hot pink dress, yeah. Yes, I remember. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck, I'm buzzed as shit. That's I good. had no <laughs> breakfast. Drink another one. Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, aren't we at your house? Oh, no. Okay, so what plans as a couple, like... Okay, first of all, when is this wedding happening? Do we know? Bro, uh, she wants to get married in June. This next year. Uh, this next back, upcoming June. Mad? Because She's like, I here you go. <laughs> because she wants a lot and all that she wants is like hella expensive. No, I don't. Yeah, she does. No, I don't. Yeah, I she tell does. Him, like, take me to a farm, somebody's backyard. I'm She's capping right now. No. Really? She wants a DJ mariachi. She wants a grupo. She wants a Seems achievable. Uh-huh. In June? That's like yeah. seven, eight months from now. I think we need to start planning like right now. Because we, we know people who are married and it, they told us that it takes at least a year to, it does. to plan it. I've never been married, but I know it does. Mm-hmm. I'm but like, I well, know it's possible to have a quick marriage. You know why I'm so quick, like, you know, oh, it can happen? Because yeah. my sister, not to spill her tea, she got pregnant and then like she got married within three months because she didn't want nobody to know she was pregnant. Kim Kardashian got married in three months. Damn, for real? Or she got divorced. She I got th- married for three months. And One of those. <laughs> no, it was Chloe. Chloe got married in three months. Damn. I'm like, I don't got Chloe money though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but it can happen. So I told them like, okay, if not June, October. Look, October's I know Rancho. Idea. I know Rancho. That big, huge. That's just you know, <laughs> the Rancho right there. There's horses and shit. It's in Silmar, right? There's an option if you want to get married. Hell yeah. I'm down. For October, I'd be down. But June, I feel like it's a little too soon. How about we meet in the middle? Yeah. June, July, like August. Perfect. Me, the wedding planner? (laughs) 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 No. No, I don't. He says, he swears that I want like so much expensive stuff, but it's just like, it's the details. That's no, that's what I want. Like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to be real with you. I don't care about the decorations. I don't care about the centerpieces. I don't care about... I don't care about none of that stuff. Yeah. Like, you can find the most basic stuff and still make it look cute. Yeah. What I want is, like... I want, like, entertainment stuff. Like, I want hella the shots. Mm-hmm. I want my... Uh, I want... What I want? I want a Mirachi, definitely, because mm-hmm. I want the traditional Mexican. Um, I definitely want a DJ... And I also want somebody to sing a song when we do our first dance. Like, if I can get Bretman, what is his name? Bretman Rock? No, not Bretman Rock. Oh. I'm like, you really want Bretman <laughs> Rock? Yeah. Bretman yeah. Wood. <laughs> oh, Brenton Wood. Like Brenton Wood to sing our little song. Like, what song is it? What song? What's your guys' song? The Me and You one? Yeah. You know that one? Like, Me and You. You know that one? <laughs> yeah. I just want, like, little things like that. I don't really care about decoration. Like, I feel like. Like, obviously, I'm a care, but, like, the cake, oh, well, like... Yeah. No one eats the fucking cake. Not, like, no one's gonna eat that shit, like... You can have tacos. Period. <laughs> tacos or... Shit, I heard, like, I was looking online, like, you can get in and out the in and out yes. truck for, like, 2K. Two, two, two two yeah, 2K. That like, shit's... That shit like, slaps. But the only thing is that they don't give the fries. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Well, then I'll buy some at Costco yeah. and just fry them up real quick. Yeah. Like, you know, I That'd think I can do it. I think I could do it. I think I so do. too. I think so too. So, <sighs> you know, it's, it's your guys' wedding. Yeah, what I care about is like everybody being there. That's it. You're going to have people there. I think it's going to be pure. Yeah. It's going to be, it's tells gonna be me, the wedding everybody talks about. I always tell Eddie, like, if somebody, if someone still doesn't go to my, my wedding and because they're like, oh, well, I have vacation or it's my grandma's birthday or I'm like, well, then I ain't your friend no more. So. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Like, you won't be there. Damn. Okay. What do you guys want to do with your platform in mm. general? Like, what's, like, your goal? Like, what, when people see you guys, like, on your videos and stuff, what do you want them to get? Like the vibe, just funny, just entertainment. Ooh, like we wanna, yeah, we love doing what we do. And we love like our supporters, like they love what we do too. So we don't want to stop anytime soon. That's dope. I like yeah. being weird, and I feel like that's why people like my stuff. So I feel like with my platform, if I could ever like come out with like my own like show, dude, I would want to do that. But like, a weird you need show. your own podcast, Karen. Really? I think you need to do it. Like, I don't know. I that? something that'd <laughs> tomorrow be dope. that'd be dope i feel like i don't know i would i want to do something i want oh. okay look we need to do it i have a thing i used to do it on tiktok before i got banned from you got going banned live on TikTok? yes i had i got banned from my main account and my backup account for what <gasps> drinking no oh that's us <laughs> oh yeah no. she gets banned on live all the time yeah but it's basically they banned me because i like to i talk about sex sometimes oh, uh, like okay. not like dirty or whatever but like i call it jenica after dark yeah where yeah, i'm yeah. like i ask my, whoever i'm live with i'm like all right if we're gonna battle you gotta ask me two questions if i win i gotta ask you two questions where's the most freakiest place that you've done it have you ever used a toy have you ever done this this yeah, and that, yeah, I feel that and people yeah. are haters and they report me yeah I get reported too, but because I say like out of pocket stuff all the time. It's the same thing, like okay. sexual content. So we gotta do that one time. I'm done. We gotta do like I'm an like, after dark. I'm down to get banned. What's up, Scott? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it'd be dope. I feel like you do really good with that shit. Thank you. Because you're so outgoing and like you don't give a fuck. I know. Remember this company hit me up like they wanted to collab with me to make my own sex toy. Remember? <gasps> I was telling her to they do asked it. Me too. Someone oh asked me. God. They're like, "Are you down to promote?" I'm like. Uh, what am I supposed <laughs> to say? Show me using it? Like, what? <laughs> She's not like in the fucking thing like this. <laughs> it has three different settings. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if I were to make one, it'd be like, they wouldn't want to make it because the, the production would be too expensive. I tell Karen she's like a, do it. a seven part. Like, Honestly. Having your own you know, sex toy would be cool as hell. I'm you like, gotta be the dummy though. Like you gotta. Fuck be it, I'll be the dummy. You can use it on me. <laughs> <laughs> I can be the whole commercial. Like you use it like this. <laughs> This no. be fu- Have you ever made a pocket pussy? <laughs> made I'm like, we one? just purchased yes. two. Yeah. Wait, made? Yes. How so you make out one? of okay. orange? No. So what it is is that it's like the silicone thing. Like you shape it. Uh-huh. Your thing. I have a friend that gave it to her man as a gift, and it's like they, you shape it. It has like the clit and everything. It's like silicone or whatever, and like they use it. It goes. It's like the, it's like a mold, and then it goes in and out. Like no everybody way. use it. So if he was ever to go out of town, like oh, you pack it oh, for him. How we yeah. make that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out. I think I'm like, I need a sex they store. Sell them? They, they sell them like that. They sell them like that, but yours. <gasps> It'd be like your own, like model. your mold. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be crazy. Yeah. So then when you use yours, I'm be like, nah, uh, the one that you bought at the store, and not mine. I'm be like, damn, this motherfucker cheating on me. Exactly. Yeah, for real. That's cool. But, there we go. See? I'm gonna find out. But it was, cool. was like, you should. That'd you be should do that and then just sell it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sell it to the sugar daddy. Oh, right. Sell it to the sugar daddy. Oh, yeah, that'd be right funny. There. All right. Do you guys have any future collabs that you guys want to do, or like a mental vision board you have in mind? Like, okay, we want to do this, work with this brand, or work with these people. I want to come out with my own chips. Karen <laughs> <laughs> wants to come out with everything. That's yeah, I want to come out with my own chips. Like I what? Be like the next hot, che- like the everybody's gonna be like, fuck hot Cheetos, and it's gonna be my chips. But what kind? Like same, like spicy mm-hmm. vibes. Spicy, kind of like I'm like not me taking the whole idea of hot Cheetos, but hot Cheetos, but like not the like, you know how hot Cheetos has the cheese and what is it? Cheese and jalapeno flavor. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nah, throw that one away. It has to be like serrano with tomatillo flavor, like that kind of chips of hot Cheetos. Yeah. That right, sounds when fire. You, when you get the samples, <laughs> invite me. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. <with> <laughs> Not right now. We're just going with the flow. We just so. whatever comes up comes up. I love that. Mm-hmm. What advice can you give to couples that are 
experience that have experienced like something similar to you guys meeting in middle school or have had had like a tough like tough patches of their relationships like what advice can you give to people or uh, that are looking to do social media too um don't let negative comments get to your head Mm -hmm. that's one main thing and be yourself and communication is key with when it comes to relationship. Mm-hmm. Maturity is key. <laughs> yeah. Can't be getting mad at like dumb shit, you know? Yeah. What do you what do you think? Because yeah. uh, that's all I got. <laughs> like you literally said what I wanted to say. Mm-hmm. Which is like it. have tough skin. You gotta have thick skin doing something. And be yourself. Media. Like I I will be the first person to say I post hella weird stuff. And sometimes I'm like, damn, I'm weird as hell. Mm-hmm. But it works for me. That's I love doing what I do and I like posting the weird stuff. And it works for me, so. I feel like there's so many, like, rare girls. Like, in this situation, like, I feel like a lot of guys are weird. Mm-hmm. But the girl's never the weird one. And I love that there's a little different. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just crazy. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, mean, I feel like Eddie's always on edge, like, what is she going to do now? For real, sometimes I'll leave to go to the gym, and she'll be like, when you come in, let me know before <laughs> you walk through the door. And I'm like, fuck. What like, you gonna do what's now? going on? She just did it. She was like a... Like, I walked in, and she was a masseuse or something, and she was fucking me up in the living room. Not like that. No, no, no not I like that. I was like, happy ending. Was she on the table? <laughs> <laughs> it was for a YouTube video, but, like, she was going crazy. She poured hot sauce on my back, and I... It just, Damn! Yeah, she like, I lit up, up a little candle, and I was like, Meh. and then I grabbed some, like, bushes, and I was like... <laughs> was crazy. Funny. Yeah, it was funny. Damn. Well, I've had a really good time with you guys. Like Thank you. We did too. Awesome. Thank, Thank you for having you guys us. Thank you so much. No, I really loved getting to know you guys more and kind of get the vibes and everybody able to see it as well. Um, what are your guys' socials so that everybody can go find you? I always mess mine up. Uh, can you say it for me? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, underscore Eddie's a paid on Instagram. Karen Mendoza underscore underscore on Instagram. TikTok, Karen Mendoza, underscore XO. <laughs> Eddie's a Peta36, and then YouTube, Cade. All right. Yeah. I'm going to leave everything here as well, so that way you guys can go ahead and check them out. If you guys haven't heard of them, please go and check them out. Their YouTubes are so funny. Their TikToks. If you guys thank love you, them here, you. you guys are going to love all their content. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much thank for tuning no, thank you. for the podcast. I'm I like, really appreciate it. Yay. I'm like, please, it. please watch our videos. We have to pay rent. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Don't skip the ads, please. <laughs> no, but thank you guys so much for watching, listening from where you guys are at. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and leave a review. Let us know who you guys want to see next on the podcast, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Overcomfort Podcast is a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network.